is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have a brand new wwe elite action figure review and it is on the ringside exclusive wwe elite rated r superstar edge figure three in one figure i mean this is a three in one figure you guys can see here we get two interchangeable head sculpts three i guess you could say if you include the one that comes on the figure in the packaging very beautiful looking figure edge is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time and today we have a very special exclusive from ringside collectibles where you can grab this using promo code MD Toys if you would like, but I love this. I love exclusives. I love that we got some nice packaging going on here, which we're going to go ahead and get into because I do not want to waste any more football time right here. Getting into your front viewing window, guys, you can see here that the Edge figure is featured. You've got the two interchangeable head sculpts of Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins here. You get interchangeable hands, ringside exclusive sticker. On the bottom here, you do get a nice Edge graphic that is synonymous with his Titan Tron. You guys know that it's like the rated R, and then it goes... On this day! So yeah, you can see clearly it says Edge here in the nice font. You got the WWE logo. On the side here, you do have a beautiful image of the Rated R Superstar Edge. WWE Elite logo here. You got a nice image of all three men on the back there. Got a nice little bio read right here. If you guys would like to read that, you can go ahead and pause it right now. On the other side, you do have Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. You got include swappable Kurt. Include? Include swappable Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder Edge heads. So this is like an instruction for the people who are making the figures to tell the people to include swappable heads. Pretty sure that's supposed to be includes there, Brad, but no, no, no worries there. At the top, you do get the beautiful Rated R Superstar logo as well as a Mattel logo in the top right corner. And that pretty much does it. You don't have really much of anything on the bottom. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack the Edge heads and Edge himself out of this packaging. Actually, you know what, guys? One thing that I notice out of the packaging is you take this little cardstock thing out of the packaging, and you can actually open this up, and it is the SmackDown stage with the fist. How freaking sick is that? So not only do you get the Edge figure and the Edge heads, you get this cardboard background that you can, like, bend and have, like, for a background piece. That's that's pretty freaking epic, nasty sauce fire. So that's pretty beautiful. I, I don't think we've ever seen one of this size come in a small packaging like that, so that, that's pretty cool, but... I thought it was worth noting. All right, guys, so here's our Edge figure out of the packaging, complete with SmackDown stage background and our Edge head accessories. You guys already know how this thing works. I have not taken him out of the coat yet, so I don't know exactly how he's going to pose around, but being as it's kind of just a repaint figure and everything like that, we are going to break down everything with it, but what we're going to do first is break down his accessories, and then we will break down Edge himself and take a look at everything going on with it, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into Edge's and the Edge head's accessories, I guess. Is it only Edge's accessories? I think it's Edge's and Hawkins and Ryder's accessories as well, but let's shut the hell up and get into it. Alright guys, so diving into Edge's accessories here, you can see that we do get his infamous trench coat. You know, we've seen this many, many, many times in the past. It does have some nice detailing in it, but I mean, it is a rubber coat. You will not be able to pose this thing, so you can't do his entrance. If you if you were to try and do his entrance with this coat, you wouldn't be able to put his arms up, you know, to do the devil horns and put his hands up with the, you know, the pyro cat, 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 cat going off. So, I don't know, if you're going to have him vanilla pose on the shelf, I guess it doesn't really matter, but if you guys want to pose this guy around, this jacket will definitely not work, but you do get some good detailing in it. It does look like Edge's jacket. It's got the nice detail and ripples and little studs on it and stuff with the silver on the front detailing there for the for the snippets or whatever the hell you want to call that. Overall, I just I do not care for these long coats, man. I just do not care for them whatsoever. I like to pose my figures around, and I do not like them to be trapped in this little rubber prison a little bit, so I'm not going to be getting much usage out of that. Now, we do get interchangeable hands, and these are his devil horn hands, his devil horn posing hands or whatever. He's a big heavy metal fan, so Edge always does this on his entrance. He lifts his hands up like this, and then you get ka -ka 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 with his old stuff, and then yeah, you guys get what I'm talking about. But these come on the figure out of the packaging, and not only do you get those, but you also get mic holding hands, which I think should come with every single figure. Every figure should get fists, every figure should get mic holding hands, and every figure should get signature hands. That's, that's how it should be. That's how it should be forever and ever. But there are the interchangeable hands, and then you have your interchangeable head sculpts, which I think are a fantastic idea. Now, obviously, you're going to have to buy three of this figure if you want to get, you know, Zack Ryder in the Edge gear and then Kurt Hawkins in the Edge gear to pair with your Edge figure. But overall, these are pretty solid head sculpts, I would say. I think the Kurt Hawkins works. I honestly feel like, I don't know, maybe the hair could be longer. I feel like Kurt Hawkins' hair could be longer. Zack Ryder's is a pretty decent length, but I feel like Kurt Hawkins' hair could be definitely longer. I think just because it splits back here, I don't know. I just, I think the likeness is there. This kind of, I don't 
don't know. This for some reason is giving me like Michael Cole vibes a little bit, how he's yelling, but I do think that the likeness is there for sure. I think it definitely looks like both guys. Now, overall, I think probably I like the Kurt Hawkins one more, and I think that there should be like a rated R logo or or some sort of logo or edge or something written on this, on this beanie right here. I think a rated R logo would have been perfect, but I'm not sure why they didn't do that. The color of it is kind of like a beige or like a brownish gray olive kind of color, which is kind of crazy. You would think that it would be like black or, or like a darker gray, but it works. I think it totally works, and we'll see what these look like on the figure in the next segment of the video, but that does it for your accessories that come with your Edge Edgeheads exclusive. But that pretty much does it for your accessories with the Edgeheads, guys. So with that being said, let's dive into Edge himself. All right, guys, so getting into Edge himself here with this head sculpt. Now, getting into it, when this figure was first shown off, I was pretty disappointed with the head sculpt for the reason being this is a re-release and a true effects version of the Elite One Edge head sculpt. Now, granted, it looks a million times better. The, I think the, the sculpt does seem to be a little bit more improved. I'll see if I have a Elite One Edge head sculpt to compare it to in the next segment. I know it's laying around here somewhere, but I think this looks so much better than the Elite One, and it actually looks looks great. I actually am pretty impressed with this head sculpt. I like the smirk it's got going on. It's kind of weird because it has the color of like his actual hair color, but you guys know like in match form, it's kind of darker because it's wet, but it's kind of laying like it's wet, so it's kind of weird, but I think the likeness to Edge is definitely there. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it looks like him, and overall, I'm impressed with it. Again, when it first was shown, I was like, no, bro, th this is no. I wanted a new head sculpt. I wanted something new, but I, I think this totally works out. Going down into the torso, this is the Daniel Bryan torso. Now, this is not the sculpt that I would pick if I I were in charge of making parts and selecting parts for guys, I would go for like a Terry Funk torso or something like that, which I will compare it to in another portion of the video, but you know, I guess it works for now and they have used this for edges since the beginning, so I mean, it's kind of what we've got now, you know, I, I don't think they can really switch it now. You got all of his tattoos going on, plain black wrist tape, would have liked to have seen some rated R logos on there, but no big deal. He does come with elbow pads, which is kind of crazy because I feel like we don't really get elbow pads on our figures anymore. Going down into the tights, kind of plain Jane tights, you get the rated R logo here with the white. On the side, you do get rated R Superstar in like a silver and white, and then the same thing on the other side. So it's a pretty plain attire. Nothing too crazy going on with it. I would have liked to seen a different attire, but you know, I, I guess it is what it is. Or maybe it's just some red thrown in, but I am just waiting on our Ultimate Edition Edge. That is a figure I'm really looking forward to. One thing I noticed out of the packaging is you guys may have this same problem, but he has like warped legs. At least his right leg is warped. I'm gonna have to like heat that up and then uh, freeze technique right there to get it right there so you guys can see there is a little bit of warpage going on especially when he's standing straight up like look at that right there you can kind of yeah you can definitely see it right there looking like Sid Vicious out here but yeah I'm gonna have to uh, definitely fix that but down into the kick pads you get rated R logos here you do get the white outlines nothing too again nothing too crazy or detailed on it but you do get that and then you get a nice gunmetal gray color on the back there and this is pretty much a re-release of the Elite One Edge I mean it's very very similar we will do a comparison shot in the next portion of the video but overall pretty solid edge figure I'm actually very impressed with it but if you guys wanted to see how you interchange the head sculpt. You pop this one off just like that, and then you will take your Zack Ryder head sculpt or your Kurt Hawkins and you will pop this on there, and that is what Zack Ryder looks like on there, so that works out perfectly there. And then you would pop this one off a little bit more snug with that one. And you go over to Kurt Hawkins and you would pop this one on. So once you pop that on and there is Kurt Hawkins. So I think up next to all three of them, I think they would look really, really cool. Since Edge and Kurt Hawkins are kind of making a straight face, I think it would have been cool to see the Zack Ryder doing the same thing or vice versa. Either have Edge yelling and Hawkins yelling and then have Ryder yelling as well. I think all three of them should be doing the same facial expression is what I'm trying to say. All right. But now that we've taken a closer look at Edge, guys, let's take a closer look at some Edge Elite figure comparisons. Gotta get his head on first. Yeah, there it is. So for your Edge Elite figure comparisons, guys, you can see the warped leg going on right there, you little piece of sh**. But you have the Hall of Fame Target exclusive Edge over here on the far left. You have the Elite One Edge with a head swap. That one's also head swap. These actually had the same head sculpt as well, but we'll, we'll get into that in a second. You have the ringside exclusive in the middle, the first ever ringside exclusive Edge here on the right with the red kick pads. Great Edge figure. And then you have the Elite Eight over here with the smirky, smiling faces, faces stuff. Now, overall, this is the torso that I said that I would use for Edge. I just think it gives you, you know, that nice broad torso. I would use this for Daniel Bryan. I'd use this for Chris Jericho. I would use this for Edge. I would use this for a lot of guys. I think this is a much better torso for guys like this. A lot bigger, you know, Edge is 6'5", like 220. I just feel like that torso is much better for him. You guys can see, I like the pissed off head sculpt better for Edge because, you know, he's usually a heel and stuff like that. But, you know, the facial, the smiling smirk, you know, it works. It's not a big deal. You also have the evil smile style. 
style edge over here in the red. But overall, you guys can see here with the comparison to the Elite One, I mean, it's basically a black and silver or black and white attire. Nothing too crazy going on with it. Very, very similar. I would argue that I like this attire better, even though it's a little more plain. You don't have the lightning strikes or anything like that going on, but I think I do like this attire better. I think the best Edge Elite is probably his Hall of Fame camo one, but I do like the ringside exclusive and the Elite Eight as well. But I don't know. I love collecting Edge figures, man. They're actually kind of expensive, but there you go. And then here is my promo attire Edge right here, and I did want to get a zoom in shot of this because I feel like now that I'm looking at it, they may be a little bit different. I don't know. You let me know down in the comment section below. I believe they are the same, except this one has True Effects technology and a different hair piece. That's what it's looking like to me. Or maybe the same hair piece, just colored differently. Just looks a little bit odd, but I don't know. They both have the likeness to Edge for sure. And then for your Zack Ryder figure comparison, here is the, the Zack Ryder head sculpt on the Edge body compared to his last Elite figure, and you guys can see the difference here. I mean, this is like kind of a fix-up. It's got different boots, and it also has a uh, different head sculpt on it. But, you know, it works out, you know? Okay. You guys can see the likeness there for sure, but this head sculpt looks to be much larger. Not sure what that's about, but there's your Zack Ryder figure comparison. And then here is your Kurt Hawkins figure comparison with the Kurt Hawkins head sculpt on the Edge figure with the, your Elite 64 Chase Kurt Hawkins. And this is the interesting thing that uh, I don't know if the developers thought about, but just switching the head sculpts doesn't do everything because you guys can see here that this Edge figure towers over this Kurt Hawkins figure because Kurt Hawkins is shorter than Edge. I do believe that Edge is built in at 6'5", and Kurt Hawkins is built in at 6'1", so yeah, this definitely does not work as far as that, but I guess if they're all three together on a shelf, you're not really going to notice it, but if you were to do this comparison, you are definitely going to notice the difference. Now, do I feel like this is a little bit exaggerated? Probably so. You know, I don't feel like Edge towers over him that much, even though they are four inches in height. I don't think it's that noticeable, especially like in real life if you're standing there. This warped leg is really driving me nuts, man. I cannot stand that. Ugh. But that does it for your Kurt Hawkins figure of 50 comparisons. But yeah, guys, that pretty much sums up our Edge 3-in-1 Edge Heads ringside exclusive action figure from Mattel. Overall, you know, I'm more impressed with it than I thought I would be. When I first saw the images, I was like, eh, I mean, this is kind of, eh. But now that I've got it in hand, I actually like it a lot, especially if you want to have that, you know, flashback Edge Heads and Edge included on your shelf to fit in right there around that era. I think that is a perfect fit for it. Um, if you guys have missed out on an Edge figure, I think this is a great time. I think this Edge could serve as any Edge that you wanted, you know, a rated R Edge. Of course, he is smirking. It's not going to be a heel edge. I guess it can work for whatever you want, but you could use it in your pick feds and stuff. I know older edge figures are actually really hard to come by, so the Elite One, the Hall of Fame, the Ringside Exclusive, the Elite Eight, all those different edges are actually hard to come by, unless you want to wait on the brand new WrestleMania figure coming soon, or the Ultimate Edition that's coming soon too. You can wait on those figures, but I think this is a great edge to put into your collection, even if you don't even care about the three-in-one edge head, head sculpts that you could put with it. But if you guys want to add edge into your collection and you want a cheaper option, this is probably the way to go, especially since you get, you know, brand new beautiful packaging and you get the nice Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder head sculpts. But if you guys would like to pick up this figure or any of the figures you see in this video, go over to Ringside Collectibles, guys. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. You can grab all kinds of great action figures and wrestling accessories and play sets and all kinds of issue over there. But that about does it for this review, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Let me know what you think of the Edge Heads and the Edge figure down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. On this day!